You already saw the thumbnail and read the title, so let's just jump straight into it. Right now, the square body has two major problems. The first is the rear end. It's a factory 10 bolt with just a posi and a gear change. Still running stock leaf springs and everything. The step up to the posi this season made a huge difference, but I just don't think it can handle the abuse that I'm giving it. The solution for the rear end is a nine inch. We'll get back to that in a second. The second major issue, the frame's kind of a limp noodle. Just by pushing on the back of the box in the shop here, you can see how much flex this frame has. And you can really see it in some of the clips from racing earlier this season. Both of those problems bring me to this. This is a quick performance, new fab, bare nine inch housing. This is a beautiful housing and the welds are just pretty. Huge shout out to Quick Performance for helping me out with this rear end. They have a wide range of bolt-in and custom nine inch options. You can check them out at the link in the description. Now let's go to the front end. This is the front stub off of a C5 Corvette. I picked this up on the good old Facebook marketplace. It came with everything. I have the steering rack, I got the rear subframe, motor mounts, harness, computer. I got a bunch of stuff for this car. I also got the master cylinder from the Corvette, so the truck is gonna have a full C5 brake system. You might notice a little problem in there. We'll get to that in a minute, but we're gonna talk about the snowball that happened first. The original plan was to take a nine inch, put it in the back of the truck with the four link, and then this came along. So with the C5 front stub, I can lower the front of the truck and keep the nice geometry of the vet. So if I do that, then I have to notch the rear end of the truck a little bit. Well, the frame's kind of a noodle, so I probably should box the frame. Well, boxing the frame's a lot of work. Maybe I'll just back half the truck and then graft this in in the front. But then I have like three foot of frame underneath the truck. I, I guess I should just build a full custom chassis. So yes, I'm going to build a full custom chassis from scratch with a C5 front stub and a nine inch rear end. So I gotta make everything in between there. Oh boy. So back to the brakes. Some of you might know that the C5 Corvette has a five by four and three quarter bolt pattern and the truck has a five by five bolt pattern. Well, we gotta fix that because I like my wheels and I'm gonna keep them. The back brakes are no problem. Quick Performance sent me a set of axles that's already drilled for five by five, but the front has hubs that are four and three quarter. So I have to drill the hubs too. Oh boy, really? starting to see why all the mechanics cuss out us engineers. Some things are like, really? You had to design it that way? I don't know, sometimes you do, but... Really? Holy crap. This is like the rarest thing to find in Wisconsin. The hub's loose. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Everything we need to drill is off. We got an issue though. Can you hear this bearing? Probably can't, that's good. How about this one? Yup, cheese junk. Did you really think I was gonna use a drill? I'm gonna use this guy. But a drill press and some patience will work just as well. Four to go. Four 
Corvette front stub is put back together and ready for the frame jig. Now we gotta put the nine inch together. I do not have the center section yet, so there's nothing to hold the axle tubes in the center. Just drop this on the ground. So I cut a piece of one and a half inch PVC, and this is gonna slide right over the splines, and it should hold the axles in the center. The C5 front stub and the nine inch are prepped and ready for the next step. Thanks again to Quick Performance for helping me out with that. That is gonna wrap up this video. In the next one, we're gonna start building the frame jig. And here's a little sneak peek of that. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and we'll catch y'all in the next one.